outraged. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bubbles, hot toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell the walls, we are together. Yes. Okay, so it's not only just me that's outraged, we're talking about the whole Funko community! The whole Funko community? Pretty much everybody. I'll be honest, I don't really care. Um, you will, when we talk about what I'm talking about. You don't even know what I'm about to talk about. That's the problem here. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we just sat down and you said that you're really outraged. I am outraged! But before we get into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell, that way you know anytime we go live or post new content and hear about Chris being angry about things that I have no idea about. About. And also, we have a Patreon at patreon.com slash gasocast, and you can support this channel and get some really cool stuff in return, so go and check it out. Okay, so it turns out that not everybody in the community is outraged, and the reason why I know that is because this item sold out on poppingofftoys.com today. Okay. So somebody must be okay with paying this price tag. By the way, head over to poppingofftoys.com and use our promo code gasocast to get 10% off. That will at least soften the blow. I prefer a full blow, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so whatever this item is, it must be some sort of common and not a store exclusive because they had it on Poppin' Off Toys. That's right. So what we're talking about here, the new Disney movie posters. Oh, those movie posters? First of all, ridiculously huge. Yes. For no f***ing reason. Yes. Second of all, dumb. So they're asking $60 for these things. And they're mostly cardboard and a piece of acrylic plastic that goes over top of the thing. Yeah, that is ridiculous. And I want to know who's asking for these things, other than the people who bought all of these out on poppingofftoys.com today. So this post comes from Funko Finders. It was posted up basically saying that these were new releases for tomorrow. They'll be in store. And they're going for $59.90 and $12.90 for Walt, which is a regular Funko Pop. If you look at this, you can see the size difference between little tiny Walt and like these big f***ing movie posters. Yeah, who has the room for these things? I feel like it would be cool if you had like a ridiculously large house with like a movie room or something yeah. and you sort of had them on the wall. Yeah, they're like little posters. Most normal people don't have that. And I know a lot of the albums have little holes on the back, which I'm assuming these do as well. So you can hang them on your wall. Oh, these are way bigger than the albums. Oh, I know, but they're, they're humongous. And I don't the even... albums are, are ridiculous. How about we read some comments? Because we're not the only people who think this is ridiculous. The first comment says, we will see these in clearance in two months. Don't worry, everybody, with clap hands emoji. I'm pretty sure that that person is right that these will end up in clearance. I can't imagine that a lot of people are gonna run out and try to buy these $60 abominations. No. $60 for 80% of empty space seems ridiculous to me. I'm paying for the box at that point. Exactly. By the way, I don't mean to put a halt to what we're talking about here, but I have something else to be outraged that's gonna be coming after this part of the video. We received an email from somebody, they're pretty upset, and I feel like it's good enough to talk about in this video because we're outraged! Okay. So the person does make a good point, 80% of empty space seems ridiculous. Well, did you notice that the pops are actually fairly large? If you look at it in comparison to Walt Disney above, it doesn't look like too incredibly huge, maybe six inch size. I recently saw a picture where someone put a regular Funko Pop next to those and it's like a decent size difference. Okay, but $60 worth of a difference? In my opinion, no. $60, laugh emoji, that's priced incorrectly. That is not worth $60. It's a tiny ass doll in a big ass box. Funko is really trying to play with people. They did the same thing for the Jurassic Park one. Nobody's paying $60 for this. They need to chill. 60 bucks, y'all smoking crack. Maybe. $59 and you guys are paying for a bigger box, same size pop, laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. Well, we made a point to say that they are a little bit bigger. Not $60 bigger. I mean, the 10 inches, when we first got those, they were like $30. So that was just a handful of comments. There were a bunch of other comments on there basically saying the same thing. I did see a couple people saying that they're excited for it. Overall, people were all complaining about this 
in price. The price honestly is ridiculous. This gives me Sword in the Stone vibes. Remember the Arthur with Sword? It was yeah. $35 and we got it and it was literally like the same size as a regular pop. Sure, yeah. That's what this reminds me of. I mean, exactly. Even though it's not as small as a regular pop, I wouldn't expect a $60 price tag. I would expect maybe 40. Three liter sodas at 40 bucks. I find that to be okay. It comes in a really cool bottle and the figure is humongous. I find that more valuable than this stupid Funko Pop inside of a box with a background. Yeah, for $60. I mean, that just seems like way too much for a company that mass produces hundreds and thousands of these things every day. A lot of people were complaining about Funko making too many of these big items, like the Home Alone set that came out during Christmas time. Yeah. The thing was huge, and Walmart's been marking those down 50 to 75 percent off. Yeah, and I feel like these are going to be the same, because even though the Home Alone and Elf ones were after Christmas clearance, I feel like these are going to be clearance soon enough, because that price tag is just way too high for your normal average collector. And these things are just too humongous. They take up too much space. Yeah. I don't have enough space for the Home Alone set. That thing's ridiculous. However, I will say that the Home Alone set is more interesting than these movie poster bull****. Yeah, the movie posters aren't my favorite. No! I hate to say this, Funko, but these are trash! I don't like them at all, and I never like the albums either. I know there are some people out there that I love them, and that's okay. I'm just saying, me personally, absolutely hate them. No, I, I think that they're ridiculous. I would much rather have the members of a band or whatever that I like separate. There was a lot of other Disney things that were dropped today as well for pre-order on PoppinOffToys.com. Yes, I bought the Oswald. Isn't he cute? You're getting a Common and Chase bundle. Yes, they're $44.99 for the Common and Chase. And they have an Oswald soda. Had they sold out. Went real fast too. What's really interesting is that they actually have an Oswald art cover. Did you see that? So the art cover is very similar to the movie poster, but the art cover, I guess, is a little bit smaller. That's going for $20 versus $60 for the poster. I would imagine that that would be more along the lines of like the comic size. Okay, so we looked up the dimensions on Amazon just so I could understand how large this thing is. It apparently is 17 inches tall. So the difference between these Disney movie posters we're talking about and the VHS covers and the comic book covers, it's roughly a 10 inch difference. So imagine a 10 inch Funko Pop with two more Pops regular size ones on top. God, those things are ridiculous. Yeah, they're huge. Still not worth it. I, I just, I think this is ridiculous. This is obnoxious. It's way too much. Too much money and too much box and too much everything. All right, so the other outrage comes from one of our viewers. They sent us an email and they said, hi, Gasolcast. I got my bag and pop Motu a few days ago. Pop had zero protection, not even a sorter box, nothing. Had a ding on the side and sticker adhesive all around the sticker. I contacted them numerous times. Lady initially said she could return, then came back and stated since it was an exclusive that they could not return, nor could I get my money back, nothing. I am so incredibly upset by the idea of them abandoning a problem. Giant turnoff. Okay, what I would recommend is completely starting a new ticket because that doesn't sound right. No. And hoping that they get another representative because that's ridiculous. They need to start packaging their pops properly that come with the pop and bags. I because agree. the bags are not small, they're large. Funko knows that collectors care about boxes. So if this pop is rolling around inside the box with the bag, it's gonna get smashed all up. Absolutely. And Funko, you should be doing something about this. Funko support has been pretty good lately. Evidenced by our story the other day where you contacted them about the Luffy and the Thousand Sunny. It was damaged. It had a broken part in there and they're actually sending you a brand new one. Yes. In that same video, I had mentioned I was emailing Funko about missing my three liter Hulk soda. I didn't receive it for whatever reason. I only received one instead of the two have not heard back from them yet. It took them a really long time to get back to me. Funko, listen up. Put your listening pants on, Funko. Do they have pants for I don't know, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Is that, is that weird or? I mean, if they do, you should buy some because you don't listen to anything. Mostly anything that I say. Funko, we need to help these people. We cannot turn them away and say you can't do anything for them. That's not right. As evidenced, that's the second time I use that in this video tonight, you have a Funko app. And in that Funko app, you talk about the different values of our Funko Pops that we're collecting. If you're tracking the value of Funko Pops, doesn't that mean they're valuable and we want to receive them in good shape? Specifically when they come directly from you? How could you turn somebody away? I think this is crap. It's trash! And also, stop selling those stupid 
fucking movie posters. Nobody wants them. Except the fan. Except for the people who bought them on poppingofftoys.com. They're gonna make a Fantasia one, but with the mop with the buckets, because they know the Fantasia sells now. Sopping up all that money. With that mop. Have I ever told you how much I hate the word sop? I oh, know, sap's horrible. I don't like it either. Every time I eat Indian food and I like take my naan and I dip it in like the last of my sauce, I always think about how I'm sopping, sopping it, it up, up. With, my uh, with my naan. Oh, uh, that's gross. What's worse, that or moist? Oh, I don't get bothered by moist. Really? Yeah, I think it's dumb that people get moist. Uh, I, yeah, I don't like it. It's not fun. The word damp is grosser than moist. No, to it's me. not. Wrong. It is. Wrong. Wrong. Like, oh. I would rather have moist cake than damp cake. Oh, okay. Everybody oh. likes a moist cake. You don't want a damp, though. Okay, what's worse, damp, moist, or sop? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, what do you think about Funko not helping one of our viewers with their damaged order? We'd like to know that as well. And what do you think about the $60 Funko Pop movie posters? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you think they're too expensive? Did you buy one yourself? Let us know all of this and more in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, just put a little heart down there, okay? We like hearts. I like knowing when they got a heart on. <laughs> in every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to David Jones, Brian Barrick, Danny Allen, Zach Bonifer, Cliff Demzik, Cody Pace and Laura Maxey, Lindsay Weintraub, Joe B, The Vin Cat, and Roland Roach. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Patrons, we appreciate you all so much. And we just wanted to let you know that next Saturday, January 14th at 9 p.m. Eastern time, we are going to be doing our Zoom meet call for January. So make sure you join up if you are signed up on Patreon. And if you're not, head over to patreon.com slash gaslocast to learn about all the ways that you can support this channel. On our Patreon calls, we do giveaways, we show you some behind the scenes mischief toy stuff, and we also hang out and gab for a couple hours. So make sure you tune in and hang out with us. It's a blast. Gab is another word that I don't like. Nobody's gonna wanna gab with you because that's a really ugly word. Why can't you say like chit chat? Like even that bullshit term would be better than gab. Oh wow. All right, it's that time again. Remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.